The stuff, financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button. All that YouTube album stuff, so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the data released us is false. It's meant to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, AMC had the first green day in probably like five or six days. But uh, to me, to me, it means absolutely nothing. Whatever the price action is means absolutely nothing. Because until these bad actors run out of money, they're going to continue manipulating the stock. They're going to continue breaking the law. And we know that we can't count on the SEC, the DOJ, or the FBI to step in and enforce the law. So the, the price action means absolutely nothing in my opinion. And I'm not, I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell AMC. I'm just telling you that the price means nothing because they control the price until they run out of money. Bottom line. Anyway. Um, the, the volume yesterday was 14238713 but those numbers mean absolutely nothing because it don't really reflect what's going on in the dog pools. It's just the numbers that they want to give us to support whatever narrative they want to push down our throat. As far as calls, you had 2,007 calls in the money. At $6, you got an additional 21,708 calls in the money, but like I tell every day, the calls mean absolutely nothing. These are naked calls. Yet they have so many calls and puts that they can't never ever be exercised. I mean, it's absolutely crazy what they allow them to do. And then, um, since the market closed yesterday, they found 15 million counterfeit AMC shares or tokens in in order to you know push into the market to manipulate the price. No idea where these shares are coming from. Every day I ask for you know, the chain of custody or the blue sheets. And of course, they're not going to turn them over, even though the new rules require that they do so, they still don't do it. And you know why? Because there are no real consequences for not following the law. There are no real consequences. If they don't turn this information over to the SEC, what's going to happen to them? Absolutely nothing. Okay? Absolutely nothing. And then, on top of that, 41.5% of the float was shorted shares. Not the float, excuse me. 41.5% of the volume was shorted shares. Absolutely crazy. No idea where they're getting these shares from, but I have a theory. Either the market makers are just printing them up, using the tokens as false locates, or they're just taking one share and lending it over and over and over and over again. It's absolutely crazy what they're allowed to do. So, there's like 6,500,000 shares that were shorted yesterday. The bottom line is this. Until they run out of money, they're going to keep this game up. And like I tell every day, it doesn't even matter if retail sells because there are too many big dogs sitting on the sidelines waiting to jump in and buy the shares. As far as I'm concerned, the naked shorters of AMC are done. They are done. It's just a matter of time before we get the cash out. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that the naked shorters of AMC are done and that they can keep doing this until they run out of money? Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.